Okay, so today we're going to be having a look at this Tong Guard Switch Fuse Spur, obviously with a Tong on it, 7 day Tong on it, and as you can see, it's not really in the fit state at the minute, because I took it to bits off camera, and uh, it kind of didn't want to come out nicely, so brick bureau force, and I've kind of wrecked it a little bit, so anyway, let's have a look inside it, shall we? Have a look. Place your bets on what it's going to be inside of it. Let's have a look then, shall we? So this is the main circuit board that has all the connections, main connections on that side. So these are all your terminals to do like live, switch live and all that stuff and uh, neutral and all that good stuff. And a little LED indicator. And then this is where it gets a bit dodgy. I kind of wrecked it. I'll get onto that in a minute. This is also other connections for like the uh, fuse carrier. Onto there are fuses. Links there. Basically a load of linking out. Stop the uh, two from ever touching. Showing out a few resistors. I'm not sure what that is. TC. Not sure what that stands for. The relay I accidentally ripped off by mistake. Uh, I've got it with me still, I haven't broke it or anything. And uh will get on to that in a minute. Um, this is when the thing was made. 2008, July 2008. And uh, a few bits have been not put in, obviously, but uh, yeah, I broke a few solder joints, obviously. I ripped the switch out, but I didn't mean to do that, I think. Which one is it? That one there. Sorry, I'm not even on camera. That one there. Broke off the uh, PCB all completely. This was the brands of it all. So you got what's left of the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what the LCD was. Got a few, like, mini resistors and that. And the glass is and that. And a little chip under that little thing in there, and then that little contact there to make a change settings. And then under the other side, got the link between this PCB and the main to activate the relay. You got a few like I think that's a crystal isolator, or something like that. Then it's linked off the uh, lithium cell and a capacitor, resistor and obviously a little cell tiny little thing and, uh, let's see if I can get you on that so if it works, it works, if it don't, it don't I've tied a little cross off and See if I'm going to do this without shortening anything out. So if you go, just a little bit more detail. On the uh, cell, not really much else really. Um, that's pretty much it, to be fair. So this thing's going to go in the bin, because it's not needed and it won't work anymore because obviously I've uh, I broke it and I broke it even more. So we finish it? Fuck it, let's finish it. There you go. Never to work again. Cool. So that's what's in a uh, timed switch fuse spur. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <coughs> so just a quick add on. This is the uh, little relay. Uh, obviously switches the uh, supply on and off and uh, quite a small sort of thing you see the two contacts in that side uh, which side will be best uh, that little bit there so there's the two contacts that uh, go between the four pins there two to do one side two to do the other and uh, this is the uh, mains for the uh, coil 
And uh, not really much to it, really. And uh, let's see if I can get you on that. So that's the um, coil takes 48 volts and it can switch 250 volts at 16 amps. So that's pretty much it, really. Not really much to it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.